Hello everyone, welcome you all. Today I am going to discuss about the test ng annotation which is a parameter and through parameter how can we achieve this cross browser testing. So this is going to be an interesting topic today. So do watch the entire video so that you will get the two advantages. One is the usage of parameters and the cross browser testing. So let's get started. In case if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, let's start. So parameter in test ng uh, describes how to pass the parameters to a at the rate test method. So in test ng every test method is representing a test case, right? So to pass something over to that uh, method, we need a parameters. So to pass that parameters, we use this at the rate parameters and uh, using this parameter in XML file. So we have a test ng XML and class file, right? So in XML, we will pass these values and we will provide a naming as well. And based on the values that we provide in the test ng XML, similarly, those values will be given to the class methods like at the rate test annotation. And this cross browser testing is a type of functional testing only. It's not something else or different one. So it's a functional testing only where we will perform the similar test cases in different browsers. So there are companies which look for this kind of approach where they wanted to test their application in all the browsers which are available because few applications like e-commerce or banking applications not sure whether users might come in come in from chrome browser or any other browsers like ie browser edge browser so we have different variety of browsers right so they will come up on those browsers so to make our application works on those different uh, different browsers and which was reliable so to approach that we need a cross browser testing and the reason why we go for the cross browser testing is sometimes we may have this font mismatches in the browser to browser. So some browsers shows you a font size of 10 to 12 pixel. Some may shows you 8 pixel. So there is a discrepancy, right? So to find those or to find such kind of discrepancies, we use this cross browser testing. And there is some JavaScript implementation also. The major concern is the JavaScript implementation because there might be a different uh, browser to browser dependency we have. So this JavaScript implementation might differ to browsers to browsers to see whether our functionality actually working or not. So to test that, so we need this cross browser testing and also the alignment and the div sizes. So it differs and some browsers still supports or may not support the HTML. So there isn't uh, support and uh, mismatch, right? So to find those kind of uh, issues, we need this cross browser testing. And we have image orientation as well, where we need to see the images on the application as well. And let's see how can we implement these parameters and the cross browser testing into our automation suit. So let's jump into the Eclipse tool and we'll uh, use this parameter over there. So here we have a test ng project which we have uh, started as a uh, project for uh, framework designing. So this is my test case which was previously demoed and now we'll see how can we use this parameter and fit that parameter in the test cases. So let me open my test ng xml as well. So this is a test ng xml where we will try to provide the parameter name and value from here and then we will call it from the class level so before we do that the first thing is so we need to know how can we pass this parameters so parameters exist in our test method test annotations or we can say test tags under xml and they should be above our classes so it should not be under classes it should be above our classes so that our parameters will be called first and will be given value to our test cases parameter and it's not a parameters here it's only a parameter and parameter name name should be given as a string so that should be like browser so browser is my name and the value i need to provide so value so like chrome so i wanted to execute my test cases under chrome and here you need to you need to do one correction here so it should not end with the parameter tag again so we need to close that parameter here itself in the same tag 
so that it will not be creating any conflict while executing our test cases now so this is a test case for chrome right so let me rename that i will say name as chrome test and i don't need this uh, thread count so let's save it so now here what we are doing we are giving a parameter and a name as browser and browser name as chrome so if my browser name is chrome then i need to execute my chrome browser and uh, launch the chrome browser and perform test on chrome browser so let's go to our test cases so here in the previous tutorial i have shown you how to implement the web driver api manager right so that will be useful in the cross browser testing so i will show you how so let me comment all this or let me comment only these two lines for now okay now so to pass this parameter here so we need a parameter annotation parameters here so there in test ng xml we provided a parameter but in the class level you need to provide a parameters here and the parameters value as a string so string is browser so whatever name that we provided right so name here the name the same name should be given to our parameters here and the parameter we will pass those parameter values from there to here so whatever parameters is there so which is name and the concerned value will be passed into our test cases so now so we cannot directly provide those values here we need to do some manipulation to get those values into our test cases so here i need to i am using the before class right here so for before class we need to pass a string arguments string argument my argument will be browser so i'm taking the string argument as a browser and which is a browser which the value is coming from my test and xml and here i will utilize that value here so here i will use it if condition if browser dot equal and let me do this thing equal ignore cases so that there might be any uh, case sensitive or in case sensitive that will be ignored and will be checked against this one so i will say chrome right so whatever value is there on the browser which is a parameter browser so which is a chrome here so in case if my this given value is equal to the chrome value which is in the test ng xml so that my condition will be executed here so here under this one i will launch my api driver which is a web driver api manager to initiate the chrome settings so here we have right so i will copy this and put it here so in case if you are new to this web driver api manager do watch my previous tutorial that will help you to understand the web driver api manager okay and let me do formatting as well so now so my browser which is equal to the chrome the chrome which is actually there on my test ng xml if that both values are equal then that will execute this condition else i will say else if i will use one more condition so i will say browser dot again equal ignore and if my browser is equal to fire firefox if my browser is firefox then i will say that my web driver api manager to initiate the firefox browser so for that i will use web driver web driver manager dot firefox dot setup so this will help us to uh, managing this uh, exe files and system set properties so though both the options we cannot use uh, we cannot use when we try to 
or we can say when we are using this webdriver api manager we don't need those settings to be done here so it's a simple and easy to implement so do watch the my previous tutorial how can you do that driver equal to new firefox firefox driver so for now let's let's only be stick with two conditions only so now let's quickly save and don't run so one uh, precaution or a warning that don't run your test case from a class level when you are using this parameters so when you are using parameters do use it from testng.xml and that should be executed as a testng suit yeah let's run this as a testng xml suit now we'll see so our value is equal to chrome so that my chrome driver is initiated and it has launched the chrome browser and it is getting executed the test cases right all set done right it has executed all my test cases and it has passed now what i will do instead of chrome i will pass firefox and save and let me again relaunch stng xml suit so now you can see it is initiating the gecko driver which is a firefox driver so which is easy to implement right so no need to uh, do different uh, settings here so it's easy to implement using a web driver api manager with a parameter so which is a cross browser testing it's a simple so now we have done two browsers testing so i similarly i will show you how can you implement such test cases for different for different browsers let me use one two three okay let's format this now so one i wanted to do it on firefox one i wanted to do on chrome another one i wanted to do on ie another i wanted to execute on edge right so now again go back to our test cases and now again write if else conditions if else so similarly i wanted to use this both browser dot equals ignore case and i will say ie and similarly again if else and browser dot equal ignore and here i will say edge and web driver manager dot edge driver dot setup and i will say driver equal to new edge driver and here also similarly web driver manager web driver manager dot ie driver dot setup and driver equal to new internet explorer driver right now everything is set ready now we'll now execute the test in the xml suit so this is what we call a cross browser testing so this is edge test and this is ie test this is chrome and this is firefox this is what we call actual the cross browser testing We're executing the similar test case in multiple browsers without changing any condition or without changing any test case only browser c is being changed everything is similar and all test cases will execute so now i will run as test ng suit now you can see first it has started chrome or a uh, gecko driver which is a firefox driver now it is executing on firefox 
it has executed all the test cases now again it is running so it is started a chrome browser so this is how we do the cross browser testing to find defects and to find as many as issues on the ui so chrome test done now it is trying for edge i think its next test case will be ie and this web driver api manager is very helpful so no need to bother about system set properties and uh, managing those exe files so it will be a bit conflict so use this web driver api manager and uh, setting up these uh, will be very useful i think i never use this uh, ie browser in my system but i have initiated using my web driver api manager let's see whether it will run or it will throw some error it has run it is executing all the test cases here i think everything is run except this ie because ie has never used so it is uh, first time i am using so that is the reason our test case was stuck here so it has again shifted to focus shifted to the new driver that is the reason the test case has been failed but the approach is same here so here approach whatever been used using a parameter so similarly we can use this cross browser testing and through cross browser testing we can find issues like font size javascript errors html errors and page alignments and image orientations and browser incompatibility with os as well and this is the two conditions so that when you are when you are using this parameter don't run from your class level do run it from suit level so that those values which are there in the suit are given to our tests so i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and do like share and comment thank you for watching